Hey guys, welcome back to LineApp. For today's video, we are going to show you how to add Microsoft Clarity on Shopify. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do here is you want to go to your admin page here in Shopify. So go to admin.shopify.com, log into your account and access your store. Now once you've done that, we now need to switch over to our Clarity account. So go to clarity.microsoft.com logged in and typically if you have like a uh, pretty new account you have the getting started page here now in here what you need to do is you need to install this into a third party platform but you could also install this manually so in this case that involves copying and pasting the trying code into the header element of your site but in this case we want to actually install this to shopify as you can see a third party platform here supports shopify in clarity let's go and click on view all platforms now from here, we want to choose Shopify here, and it's going to say copy your tracking code here. So specifically in this page here, you'll have the option to basically install it or in this case, integrate it into your Shopify store. So just make sure to follow the on-screen steps here. So first, that includes copying your tracking code here. It's going to copy this one, and you want to actually go to your Shopify dashboard and select online store, and you want to go to teams, and you want to go to edit code. So let's just do that exactly. Now from here, we want to go back into our online store, click on Teams, click on tree that I go here, click on Edit Code. Now the next thing we want to do here is you want to look for Team.Liquid. And from here, what we need to do is we need to actually look for the header, so the very bottom section of that header. So in this case, Team.Liquid is here. And from here, you want to search your header. So in this case, this is the first part of our header. You want to scroll down a bit here until you see the end of your header. So you could also use the search option here for, or in this case, control F on your keyboard for you to see the end of your header. So in this case, just click, uh, press control F and you want to actually type in header. Press on enter for you to actually uh, use it or search for it. Let's go click on next. But if you don't see it, it means uh, we want to actually name this as head. So yeah, so on this one, once you've done that, let's go and press on enter and we want to paste our script here and once you've done that let's go ahead and click on save so that we'll be able to save our changes and once you've done that it's going to say paste the clarity uh, trying code here so in this case we've already done that and from here we want to click on save and we want to go back to our settings so in this case we now need to go back into our previous page just click on exit here we want to go to settings and from here we want to go to checkout let's go and click on checkout now from here what we need to do is we need to add additional scripts so in this case scroll down to the additional script field and paste the clarity tracking code again so in this case we want to actually scroll down a bit here and again you need to look for the section that says additional scripts field so in this case you can go and click on control f again additional just type an additional here so we have our additional script section here now in this case you should be able to add your script here but as you can see this section is now deprecated so you now need to go to customer events here so in this case uh you could go ahead start adding your pixels but then again you can still use the uh additional script section here so in this case you could go and click on the editor here or you could go and click on revert here and from here you could go ahead and click on the revert option here and you should be able to start pasting additional scripts Let's go ahead and click on save. And from here, we want to now do the uh, other section here. So the Clarity Trying Code is now installed in Storefront is Order Status page. And from here, you have the additional steps here, which in this case, uh, you now need to add a new layout here and all of those things. But in this case, uh, that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to Yelan app. Thank you for watching.